guys, what's up and welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be showing you my current skincare routine. We are in my bathroom right now and I'm going to show you step by step what I've been doing for my skin. My routine has actually become a lot more simple since my last routine that I shared with you guys um, because I've added something new that allows me to use less product but still get lots of benefits. So I'll be showing you guys that today. And I want to say thank you to Quicksonic for sending me the Zoe device to try out for myself and share it with you guys. Also, you guys are probably noticing I did get lash extensions and I absolutely love them. They turned out so good. I don't know how long I'm going to have them on. I'm going on vacation in a month and I knew that I probably wanted to have them for the vacation. So I decided to get them on now so I can get used to them and see how they wear. Make sure I'm not going to be irritated by them. They turned out so good though. She wanted to create kind of like a strip lash look and so they're super wispy and full and they look so good. So I just wanted to mention that quickly. First things first, I wanted to show you guys my current skin status. Okay, so I have always had really, really great skin. I was on the birth control pill for like eight years, and that really, really helped maintain my acne. Um, acne is in my genes. My dad had acne. My sister had really bad acne. My mom didn't really have it, um, but it's definitely in my genetics. So, of course, I would still get an occasional hormonal breakout or even like stress breakouts, but it wasn't much. I didn't ever consider myself to have acne, and my skin's been in really good shape, and I do take care of it. So, once I got off the pill recently, which I'm not going to go into why I got off the pill, mostly it's just because I wanted to give my body a break because I've been on it for so long. Um, my skin freaked out a little bit as it was expected. Um, so I got a lot of breakouts on my face. It's actually doing a ton better now. When I first got off the pill, my skin freaked. It started on my neck, almost like a little rash. And then I just started to break out and break out everywhere, like even my back and my chest. So um, luckily I have really good skincare and I worked for a dermatologist who could really help me and walk me through that. So it's getting better, but I still am suffering from something called PIH. It's post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And what that is, it's really common in people with my skin color. Basically, whenever I get an inflamed breakout, the inflammation turns into like hyperpigmentation and it lasts kind of a long time. It will eventually go away, but I suffer from this like red hyperpigmentation for a long time after the breakout is gone. So that's currently what I have on my cheeks. These aren't like actual breakouts. These are just the leftover pigment that won't leave my skin. So that's what I'm working on treating and I really simplified my routine because I don't want to irritate it. Sometimes when you have breakouts, you can overdo it. So I've been getting a lot of peels, a lot of facials, and then I've really just kind of simplified my routine. So for the most part, my routine consists of products from Lyra Clinical, which is the brand I mentioned in my last video. I still use this line because I know it super well, it works for my skin, it's super high quality, and it gives me amazing results. I do have all three cleansers from Lyra's line, so I thought I would talk to you guys about each of them because I get asked questions about cleansers I recommend all the time, and I usually recommend Lyra, so I wanted to talk to you about each cleanser and show you which ones I use. So all the cleansers retail for $29.50 and they will last you so long. Like I seriously can use these cleansers for over six months because a little goes a very long way when you're working with a higher quality product. So the first cleanser that I use every single day is still the Bioenzyme Cleanser. This is the one that I mentioned in my last skincare video. This is like their best selling everyday gentle cleanser. This is a gel based cleanser so it doesn't suds up like a lot of other cleansers do. It doesn't have all those sulfates that are very drying to the skin and strip your skin of your oils. So this has pineapple and papaya enzymes which are going to exfoliate a little bit. So it really just helps break up your dead skin on the surface. It's not really going to work at like a cellular level, but it does cause a little bit of exfoliation. So this is just a great everyday cleanser. I do use this pretty much every day. And then the next cleanser that I have started adding to my routine is the ice cleanser. So this one is really, really awesome for acne. This is the cleanser that I always recommend if somebody comes in and is having breakouts and maybe if they're oily. 
So this cleanser is formulated for acne prone skin. It's got 2% salicylic acid, which salicylic acid is amazing for acne. It's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and it's gonna help um, exfoliate the skin. It's gonna clear out the pores. It will help with oil control. So overall, this is just great for acne, oily, prone skin. Um, even if you're dry and you have breakouts, you can use this. You just want to make sure you're using a really good toner and moisturizer after so that your skin can be balanced and moisturized properly or you may feel even more dry. So what I currently do and what I actually recommend for a lot of people who just need a little bit of exfoliation and have some breakouts that they want to treat is I actually alternate these two cleansers. So one night I use Bio, one night I use Ice. And that allows my skin to get just enough exfoliation. If you are on the oily side, you definitely could use this one every night. But me personally, I like the two and I get a lot of benefit from using the two. The third cleanser is the Pro Exfoliating Cleanser. This one is not one that I recommend a whole lot. The majority of my clientele right now is under 30. Um, but if I ever have someone who is more mature, I will have them start using this one because this is great for mature skin. This one has sal, lactic, and glycolic. And glycolic is really great for aging skin. All three together are great for aging skin because it's really powerful and it's going to do a lot of exfoliating. Um, but if you are younger like me and tend to have breakouts, this actually makes me purge a little bit. So it actually makes me have more breakouts because it's just too exfoliating. So like I said, I don't recommend this one a whole lot for younger people, but if you are like 30 and above and you really aren't having breakouts or anything, this could be a great cleanser for you. So today I'm gonna to be using the Bio Cleanser, which is the gel-based, less exfoliating one. And what I'm gonna be using to apply it is actually my Zoe cleansing device that I did mention in one of my recent videos. I did a whole review talking about this. This has become my new favorite thing for my skin and this is why I have simplified my routine is because instead of layering a bunch of products, I am using the Zoe to cleanse my skin and apply products and I'm getting tons of benefits because this is going to help get it deeper clean, it's going to help with anti-aging, it's going to help increase circulation, it helps with product penetration and it's awesome and it feels so good. It's like an at-home spa. So what I do is I get it wet. And I usually will put a little bit of water on my skin. And then I like to apply my cleanser with my fingers first. So I do about three or four pumps. And I just start working this on the skin. And as you guys can see, it's not getting super sudsy. And that's good because really sudsy cleansers are going to strip your skin of your oils and your protective barrier that you need. Um, and they're just way too drying. So for the most part, I like to stay away from super sudsy cleansers. The ice cleanser does have like one sulfate in it and it does suds up a little bit, but it still is not overly drying like a lot of other ones. So once I have that all over the skin, and I do usually work, I'm dressed right now, I usually do this in the shower like where I can do my neck and chest. I always recommend cleansing your neck and chest as well. So once I'm ready for my Zoe, I'm going to use the flat side here. And I did go over all of this in that other video, so you guys can refer to that if you want a more in-depth like opinion and review on this. And you're just going to press the button, and now it's on a constant vibration. And I'm going to start working that on my skin in big circles. And I'm not pushing hard at all. So those um, vibrations, the ultrasonic waves, are actually going to help break up the product and pull any um, dirt and bacteria out of your skin. And the little point really makes it easy to get in under the eyes and on the nose. And then you can do the neck. And it's so relaxing it's like the best feeling and to rinse the cleanser I'm actually going to be using my microfiber puff from the contoured life um, there are tons of microfiber products out there but this is one that I really like so it's a little puff it's in a little circle it's super easy to use and um, a girl that I actually work with at mascara beauty she created it and I will have her page below so you guys can check her out 
Um, her page is called The Contour Life, and she created the puff. So it's just a microfiber cloth, which microfiber is great for taking off makeup and using it to cleanse the skin. It doesn't harbor bacteria, and it's super easy to clean. So I really like this. I also use the Mascara Beauty cleansing um, microfiber cloths. They actually have them, you can buy like a three pack or it comes for free if you buy their skincare system. So. so next I would go in with a mask and I use a mask one to two times a week. And I mentioned before that masks are something that I like to switch up and try new ones all the time. I really, really love sheet masks. Those are super hydrating, they're not irritating, and they're just fun to do, you know, just slap it on and go watch some TV. But I'm currently using a sample of one that I've really been liking. Um, a girl at Sephora recommended it because I told her I'd been a little bit more oily and I've been having some breakouts. So she recommended this Origins Out of Trouble mask and it's really nice so it's completely white it's almost like a clay mask so it is going to dry down and what i've been doing is actually just kind of spot treating with this you can put it all over if you want but for the most part i've just been putting it over my breakouts and a little bit around the nose and the forehead because i have been producing some oil there and this smells so good it smells kind of like vicks vapor rub which some people may not like, but it's just like really minty and it like cleans out your sinuses while you're wearing it. So I really like it. And you don't need a super thick layer of this. Just a little bit will do the trick. So now I just want to let this mask sit and dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. So at this point, I'll usually go make a snack or maybe reply to some emails, watch some TV. But I will be back in about 10 minutes and we will rinse it off. Okay, so I rinsed the mask and my skin feels super good, but it does feel a little bit tight and dry. So this is where I like to go in with my favorite toner. I think I've mentioned before that toners aren't necessarily like a necessity for everyone, but I think I'm going to take that back and start saying that it is because I really believe in toners and I think they're such an important step in the skincare routine and they're usually an inexpensive step. Like toners are one of the cheapest things I buy and I really love them. They're going to give you extra hydration, more benefit, and they're going to help alter that pH back to normal, which anytime you cleanse or do a mask or a scrub, you usually, you usually are altering your pH a little bit and you want to bring it back to the normal point so that it can protect properly. So that's kind of more of the science side of skin. I know it's kind of hard to explain, but just trust me, toners are awesome and they are a necessity if you're cleansing and exfoliating and masking, okay? So I have two toners that I really, really love. And the first one is the Milk Toner from Mascara Beauty. This one has lactic acid in it, so it is gonna have another exfoliating property. And it's got aloe vera, witch hazel, vitamin E, and vitamin A. So really awesome one here. And then another toner that I really like is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. And this one's great because it isn't exfoliating at all. This one's just very soothing and hydrating. So this one I can spray on my face all day, every day. And it's just gonna make me feel nice and hydrated and refreshed and it smells so good. And this huge bottle is $12 at Ulta, so it's a really, really good deal. The mascara one you can get on mascara's website and this one retails for I think it's $45 I could be wrong 45 49 somewhere in there so this one is a lot pricier um, there's like a fuzzy <laughs> um, this one's a lot pricier but this one is obviously a little bit more beneficial as far as like exfoliation brightening all of that and this one's more of like just a simple hydration toner so both of them are going to help bring your pH back to normal but this one might have a little bit more benefit to it which is why it's pricier Next, I like to go in with my eye cream, and this is one I've been using for a while. It's actually like a sample size I got at Sephora, but this little thing has lasted me forever. This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, and it says it provides intense moisture and boosts elasticity, and it's kind of like a gel base, and it's super cooling. I really like the cooling aspect. So I just get the tiniest bit, because it is thin and kind of gel-like, it goes a long way. And I just kind of press that right around the eye and I always like to bring it kind of up the side of the eye and even into the eyelid because we're always going to get like wrinkles right there as we age so you want to get all the eye area 
So next is when I go in with my serums and my moisturizers. And the first one I'm going to talk to, to you about is the Skin Restoring Fulvic Elixir from Glymed. Glymed is a line that I used at a previous job. It's another very high quality professional line. Um, it is on the pricey side, but you're going to be paying for really good quality skincare. And lots of spas use this brand because it's really, really good. So the Fulvic Elixir, Fulvic, Fulvic Acid is a very, very potent antioxidant. Um, and it's going to help with breakouts, pigment, um, hydration, extra protection from the sun, and mostly I got this for my PIH situation because I've just been looking for something to really help brighten that, and I heard this was a good one. So I've been using this for about two months, and it does definitely help keep these from getting darker, and I've noticed a little bit of lightening with it as well. I don't use this every single night because I'm kind of sensitive to really high antioxidants. A lot of people are, and if I use it every night, I notice I get little tiny breakouts. Um, so using it not every night, I haven't had that issue, but I'm still getting the brightening aspect. So next I like to go in with another serum as my moisturizer, and this is the Lyra Biohydra C Serum. I have been using this one for such a long time because it is my favorite. We actually sell this one a ton. It's like one of our best selling products at the spa, and we sell it as a moisturizer because it's super hydrating, but it's lightweight, and people love a very lightweight moisturizer in the morning that they can wear under their makeup and not feel super heavy. Um, so I love this one, and it has a ton of vitamin C. It's got plant stem cells, a little bit of lactic acid. It's got aloe, um, orange peel oil. So it's very brightening, very hydrating, very soothing, and I really love this one. So I use this one morning and night, and the fulvic acid I only use at night because it is pretty heavy, and it makes my skin feel super hydrated. So I don't like to wear this one under my makeup, only at night. So today I'm going to be using the Hydra C Serum, and I only use a little bit. It goes a long way. And you never want to forget your neck and chest because we want those to age just as beautifully as our face, of course. I see so many women with like beautiful faces and then their neck looks like 70 years old and it's rough. So don't forget your neck and chest. So now that I have my serum on, I'm going to grab my Zoe again, and now I'm going to use the opposite side, the rounded side, for product penetration. So this is going to help push that serum deeper into the skin so I can get better results from it. So you're going to click the button twice, so now it's pulsing like this, and you're just going to sit and kind of rock it on the skin with the pulse. And this is going to help tighten and tone, push the product in, and give you some anti-aging benefit. And I like to do very gently around the eyes and kind of lift right here. Now I know this seems a little tedious, so maybe this is something you could do while you're watching TV or doing something else. I mean, if you can do something one-handed and sit and do this with the other hand, do it. <laughs> And then there is another side on the Zoe that you can use as well, and this is the bottom. I actually didn't know that this had a purpose when I first got it, and then I realized that it does have a purpose. So it's very cold, and you can actually use this for like smoothing the skin and like lymph drainage. So you'll just like pull it like this across the skin, and you can go like down the neck. And because it's cold, it feels really good, and it can help like with inflammation and like puffiness under the eyes and all of that. For the most part, I just do this side for my serum, and then what I do is I switch to my roller, which I have been on the roller train since Christmas, and I absolutely love them. We use them in the spa sometimes on our clients, and they love just the simple little addition to the facial, and it feels so good. So I have the Skin Gym Rose Quartz Roller from Ulta. There are so many rollers out there. There's like the Jade Rollers. There, I mean, there's so many different crystals that they've incorporated now, but the Rose Quartz is for self-love, which I think is great. Um, so this one, what I do is after I've done my serums and stuff, I'm just going to start going like this, and the big side is for the majority of the face, and the small side's for under the eyes. So you want to sit and pull the skin kind of up like this. You never want to be pulling down, or that's going to make 
your face sag. If you're doing this motion enough throughout your life, you'll notice your face is starting to sag. So I always recommend applying the products upward, doing massage upward. When you're getting a facial, we're all about working upwards to really enforce the muscles to stay up. <laughs> so you're just gonna sit and do this. Again, this is kind of a tedious step. I usually will just stand and do it um, by my sink for like five minutes every night. Um, but if I really wanna go the extra mile, I'll just go sit on the couch and do it for a little bit longer. Um, so you're just gonna do this all over. And this, again, this motion can help with lymphatic drainage from pulling it to the temple because lymphatic drainage, you wanna go towards the temple. And then also it's in the neck and then the armpits. So a little something I've learned from like massage and whatnot. So once you do the under eye, you'll switch over and very gently just kind of glide upward and around under those eyes. I actually have noticed a difference since I've been using this since Christmas. I feel like my under eyes look a little bit like smoother and tighter, which is crazy. And because it's cold in the mornings, oh, this feels so good and it can help with like puffiness. If you suffer from puffy eyes, it just feels so good. Just a really simple way that you can really step up your skincare game and get some, you know, anti-aging benefits. So whenever I feel like I need a little bit more hydration, like I said, I really have been liking just the serums. I feel like my skin is staying plenty hydrated with those. Um, but whenever I get a peel or maybe it's cold outside, my skin does get a little bit more dry. So I like to have creams on hand for that because I am getting um, treatments pretty regularly and you need more hydration when you have like a peel or something done. The first cream that I have actually really been liking is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I am down to the last bit of this jar. I've been using the whole thing. Um, and I usually don't buy a whole lot of skincare other than like masks from Sephora just because I have access to such high quality great skincare. Um, but I decided to pick this up one day just to try it out because I just wanted something really simple and hydrating. And I actually really like it. It didn't cause my skin to break out. It wasn't irritating. It's just a really simple like clean cold creams. So I like this whenever I just need a little bit more hydration and I really like to use a thicker cream on my neck. Um, even when I'm not using it on my face, I'll use a thicker cream on my neck because the skin on the neck is a lot thicker than the face. So I feel like it just needs a little bit of a heavier cream. So I like to use this one on my neck. The other cream that I really like is the milk cream, which is along with the toner. This is from Mascara Beauty and they do have a cleanser so their skin skincare system consists of cleanser, toner, moisturizer and now they have a milk mask which I haven't got to try yet but I really want to because I've heard great things about it. So all together their skincare system is called the Tres Leches system. So they do have it so you can buy it as a whole and that comes with the microfiber towels um, but personally I've just been using these two and I really like them. So the Milk Moisturizer has the Signature Milk Concentrate in it. So they actually extract lactic acid from milk and create like a serum that is great for the skin. It helps with dryness, hydration. It's helped with eczema. People put it on dry lips and it helps it. They put it on uh, baby rashes on their bums. And it's kind of a miracle cream, to be honest. Like I've heard such amazing things. And people with really bad acne have had amazing results from this. My husband actually uses this one and he really loves it. He uses it every morning and it just gives him just enough hydration without feeling oily or heavy because men don't like to have a bunch of product on their face. And this one retails for $50, which is a little pricey, but this goes a long way. Like it has a pump, which is super nice because you never have to touch the inside of the product and contaminate it. You just pump up one pump out and that pretty much covers the whole face. And it actually lasts quite a while, like a good six months or so. Now every day, of course, we all should be wearing sunscreen and I'm still using the Elta MD UV Elements. Broad Spectrum, broad spec, oh my gosh, I can't say that word. Broad Spectrum SPF 44. And this also has hyaluronic acid. So it's hydrating, it's plumping, and it's an awesome sunscreen. And this one does have a tint, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you just pump it out. I usually do like two pumps for my whole face. And it does have a tint. It kind of just neutralizes my skin tone. It doesn't really give me like coverage or anything, so I still wear makeup on it. 
but I love this one for days when I just want to run out the door and not have any makeup on because it does just kind of just kind of evens me out and gives me like a healthy glow so I look just a little better <laughs> and it's a great wear for under makeup it's a nice satin finish so it doesn't have a bunch of oil in it that feels heavy it doesn't leave any weird streaks on the skin and it wears great under my makeup now the Elta line you can only get from like a physician or a dermatology office. So if you're finding this or buying it somewhere online like Amazon or some weird site where you're seeing it for really cheap or something, don't buy it because it's probably not the real thing because the real thing can only be sold at physician and doctor's offices. Okay, so don't be buying this from any weird sites. Lastly, we cannot forget our lips. I absolutely love the Kopari Lip Glossy. I've mentioned this before. It's the best. I can't stop using it. It's so good. And I get this at Sephora for $12, and it just makes your lips look so hydrated and juicy, and they feel so good. It does have coconut oil in it, so it's very hydrating. I do do an at-home sugar scrub on my lips like once a week because when I'm constantly wearing lip products, your lips get a little bit dry and flaky. So... Between the sugar scrub and this, my lips are never dry and I absolutely love it. Also, one more thing I did want to mention is I do have a discount code for the Zoe device. It's free 10 and you just put that in at checkout and you can receive 10% off your own Zoe. I have the Zoe Bliss and this is, I think, retails for $150 on the website. They do have other devices as well. I think they have a total of like four devices you can check out on the site and they range in price. Um, but I use the Zoe Bliss and I really love this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.